If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Spin the Bands just came out with a diss song called Foolio Dead. And I must admit, this shit is trash. I'm talking about these boys is rapping off beat. The things that they saying is just, I'm to look, 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 listen, young men. We tired of that shit, right? It was it was okay and it was it had shock value back in the day, you know, when the brothers in Chicago was disrespecting the dead and stuff like that. It was like, wow, oh my God, how could they say it look, it look, we are desensitized to that shit now. So y'all need something else to rap about. Y'all need something else to rap about. Y'all ass need to start rapping about something else with some substance. Because this shit talking about dead peoples and all that. Look, yeah, that, that, listen, that part of rap is dying. That's, that part of rap is dead. Why? Because everybody that rap like that is dying and getting killed, shot, stabbed, beat. Don't nobody want to pay y'all to come to no shows or none of that, knowing that people going to shoot the place up and everything like that. That shit is dying. And that song that y'all, and, and I got to say this, man. I got to say this. Uh, that song that y'all just came out with, that, that Fulio did, man, that shit is whack. I'm not lying. Like, I'm, I done heard good diss songs. I'm not finna lie. I done heard songs with y'all talking crazy and stuff like that. And I'd be like, man, the way that he put that delivery together, the way that he flowing to the beat, you understand? And I'd be like, okay, all right, cool. Even though they disrespecting each other, but I understand, right? But that shit y'all just put out, man, that is whack. And, and here it is. I'm talking about like, y'all, look. Can y'all talk about anything else? Make a song about uh, some women or something. Can you rap about just your neighborhood and what goes on in your neighborhood? Can you rap about what you feel inside? Can you rap about how you really feel about all your dead homeboys? Can you rap about what that what that life that you have lived had done fucked you up mentally and emotionally? Can you rap about that? Dig deep. Be creative. I mean, damn, I'm, because we tired of it. It look, who buying that? Who listening to that? I mean, I can understand Young and Ace doing this thing and everything because of how Julio used to diss his little brother and stuff like that. All right, okay, cool, but you gonna make y'all gonna make four, five? Y'all steady making songs about one man. That just showed me the power of Julio, bro. Y'all so happy that this man right here is gone, man. It's a damn shame. That just let me know that Julio must have been putting belt to that ass. He must have been, because the way y'all continuously still trying to make diss songs about the man, the man been gone for I don't know how long now. Y'all making diss songs still, y'all still writing posts and all type of stuff. Like, come on, move on with your life. I mean, damn, we all know that ain't now one of y'all did nothing. Ain't nobody from ATK shot, stabbed, beat up, and did nothing to Julio that night. We all know y'all didn't, because y'all talking too much. When people really put in work like that, then the killers that know that they did that, they like this here. Closed mouth. They paranoid schizophrenic. They hoping that, damn, did we get away with it? Did they, can they somehow figure out that that was us on the camera? You ain't drop your wallet in your ID, did you, bruh? Did you drop any gloves or hats? You leave any DNA? Did you touch any of them dolls, them cars, or anything? Okay, what about the car that we was in? Did they see that? Did we, can we burn this car up? The other guys that we was with, did they get scared? Is they gonna tell them? The real killers is like this here. They ain't saying nothing. So while y'all sitting up here doing all this bragging, 
about this man's death. Man, y'all ain't what well, y'all were nowhere near around that place when that thing happened. Nowhere near it. But y'all want to sit up here and be, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, come on, man. Since when has it been cool to brag about other people's bodies? And then uh, Ace, all you doing is talking about you done put some money on somebody here that you done paid somebody. I hope you understand that, man, that might as well mean that you might as well do it. If the feds can prove that you really put some money on somebody's head and got them killed. If the feds can prove that you put some money, all that money that you be getting from the, you know, the bank accounts and all, if they can somehow trace that money to the killers that killed Fulio, your ass cooked, baked, deep fried, gone, straight up, it's over with. So keep on rapping. Keep on rapping about, you know, I paid somebody to get him killed and all that. Because when the feds come, and if that be the truth, then, I mean, look, stand on it. Stand with your chest out. Yeah, I, I paid for the hit. Give me my time. Let me get on up out of here. Let's go. Don't start crying about, I got kids, man. I got a woman. I got a wife. I'm the big guy. I'm the business, man. Come on, man. I need y'all to take this case for me. No, I ain't none of that. Be a man, you bragging about it and saying you paid somebody to kill this man. Then when it come all the way down, then stand on that. But the, the, to keep continue, you, you, that song that they just put out, bro, Fulio did. Bro, I'm not, man, I'm talking about. It's trash, bro. Yeah, I, won't, I won't even advise y'all to go listen to it. Man, these boys is rapping all off the beat. The only thing they keep talking about is Fulio did. Fulio did. Rest in peace to that young brother. Fulio did. And I'm not sticking up for Fulio because I know he was a demon out here. He probably done laid some of y'all down and probably done paid to have some of y'all killed and all that old type of stuff or whatever. Hey, you know, hey, that's street life. But at the same time, man, for y'all to continue to, we know y'all ain't did nothing, bro. We know who y'all think y'all fooling them suburban kids out there or something. Because everybody that's from the ghettos across America, man, we know y'all ain't did nothing. Y'all ain't fooling us. Now, I'm not saying that y'all ain't killers and that y'all ain't going to spend the block and all that. I'm not saying that. But I'm talking about this Fulio demonstration. Y'all ain't had nothing to do with that. I'm almost, I'm, I'm, I'm complete. Y'all ain't had nothing to do with that. I'm talking about like physically. Y'all wasn't there. It wasn't y'all holding them rifles, shooting at that boy, shooting his cop like that. That wasn't y'all. That wasn't y'all. Because if it was, y'all wouldn't be doing that much talking. Now, the people that ain't talking, that's who you got to pay attention to. That's how it go. Yeah, let them, let them get all the fame and the glory for something that we done did. Let them make themselves hot. With all that Fulio did not let them make themselves hot while the real killers are sitting back like, hey, man, whew, thank you. Appreciate it. Man, look, let me say this right here for all you young brothers who, who's trying to get into this rap industry. Uh, disrespecting the dead is not the way. Understand something. The mass majority of the people that are disrespecting the dead, they end up dead themselves. Somehow, some way, they end up dead, they end up shot, they can't go places, they got to have guns, they got to spend all this money on security and all this old type of stuff. Come on. Y'all see Gunner, y'all see how he running around doing all them shows and all that? And it, he supposed to have been labeled as a snitch. And but look at him, stacking it up, piling it up, getting paid. And, and he got security around him. But he doing way better than them diss rappers. Way better. Way, all you drill rappers, y'all ain't getting no money like Gunner. No money. Look, all you drill rappers, y'all ain't getting no money like the regular rappers. So why you want to drill rap? Regular rappers. I'm talking about rappers talking about dancing, talking about having fun, enjoying life, talking about getting money. Man, they living it up. They getting booked everywhere. Book me, book me, book me, book me. Running straight past y'all, running it up. While y'all sitting up here talking about some killing people. 
dead people that are dead and gone. Man, y'all ain't gonna get no real money doing that. Y'all gonna get the love fame that y'all getting right now because this man done got killed. Y'all finna, y'all finna eat off of him for a little bit. But after that, then what you gonna do? What you gonna rap about after that? Y'all main op is gone. Six out of here. Rest in peace to that brother. He gone. Now what y'all gonna do? Huh? Now, now how y'all gonna diss? Come on, man. Y'all look. Tighten up down there. Tighten up. Because what y'all got going on with that, 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 look, that ain't, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. But in the penitentiary, or in, or in, or in somebody's graveyard, point blank period, that's where it's gonna get you at. Now, before I depart, allow me to say this right here. When that Rico do come, and they start connecting the dots to all those murders and, you know, using y'all lyrics and stuff like that to convict y'all. Don't cry. Don't cry. Accept it. Don't cry about no, this is freedom of speech and all that old type of stuff. Don't cry about none of that. When they start using y'all lyrics to connect to murders and stuff like that, don't cry, just accept it. Because if you bold enough to talk about the murder, then you should be bold enough to accept the consequences that come with it. Because back in my day when we was coming up, if you demonstrated something like that, I'm talking about the elites used to tell us, and I'm, don't even tell your mama. The only person that you can tell something like, the only person that you can express something to is the universal creator. You can ask for forgiveness. But you don't tell your mama, your cousin, your brother, nobody. Not about no murder. No, uh huh. Nobody. The universal creator. That's it. Don't tell your homeboys or none of that. But now in this day and age, man, y'all want to get on the internet and tell the world wide web. Yeah, we killed him. We had something to do with that. Yeah. Now that see dude and them gone, yeah, we that, mm -hmm, that's our work right there. Y'all can't wait to tell somebody about what y'all done did. But then when y'all get locked up and they be talking about life, then y'all be like, they, they shouldn't use my words. I just I, I got artistic views and I just conjured this up in my mind and all that. And they like, nah, huh? we matched the video to what you said, to the gloves you had on, to the clothes you had on. You said this, that, and the other. Then we got this witness that done said that. Ain't no way around it. So I want to encourage all you young brothers, man, that's trying to get in this rap game, understand that drill rap it's dead. It's dying. Drill rap is on the respirator right now. Drill rap is in the hospital. I'm talking about it can't breathe on its own. It's dying slowly. So you want to rap? Don't get into that lane right there. Get into the lane that's paying the most money. Do your homework. Investigate. What rappers is getting paid the most? Travis Scott. Huh? Travis Scott. Selling out arenas. And ain't rapped about killing nobody. Ain't rapped about killing nobody. Selling out arenas. Man, y'all better start doing your homework and coming correct. Especially if you want to get in this rap game and check a bag. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. I give a shout out to Jay Crazy 561 for the $8 super thanks. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Big Four fourteen for the twenty-five dollar super thing. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. 
Arthur Albee for the $25 cash app. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. Raymond Wright for the $5 cash app. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. And last but not least, Big Earn from D.C. for the $2 cash app. Thank you all for your love and support. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.